Hello everyone. In this video, we will have a look at addition and subtraction of the polynomials. Now, when I was covering like terms and unlike terms, I had said that the like terms and unlike terms concept is useful when we do addition or subtraction. The reason is only like terms can be added or subtracted. If you remember from fractions, we, there also only like fractions could be added or subtracted. Similarly, here only like terms can be added or subtracted. So, let's take an example to see how we do that. So, we have these two polynomials, two expressions, two polynomials and we want to add them. Now, there are two different ways we do it. I will first tell you the way where we arrange them one below each other. We have to arrange them one below each other. But we have to arrange the like terms one below each other. So here 3x is like term with. Yeah, so we'll write here plus 3x. Minus 2xy is like term with this. So minus 2xy and 2x square. And here there is nothing. Okay. And we add them. So 3, there is nothing, so it will remain plus 3 as it is. 2x plus 3x, we know we have done the addition or subtraction of simple equations. 2x plus 3x gives us 5x. Plus 5x it gives. Plus 4xy minus 2xy. Plus 4 minus 2. Treat the xy as one variable for addition subtraction. Once they are like terms, treat them as one variable. So if it is one variable, 4 minus 2 is plus 2. So it will give you plus 2xy and 2x square. So if you see here, this is your answer of this addition. Alternatively, you can what you can do is you can start arranging the terms, like terms after each other. So first, Let's start with the highest power, 2x square. So I write, it is plus 2x square. Then I'm going to write 4xy. Again, it is a plus 4xy. Then plus and minus gives you minus, so minus 2xy. Because I want the like terms next to each other. Then I have 2x here. Plus, plus gives me plus, so plus 3x. Then I have plus 3 here, and I don't have anything from here. So I have arranged them in sequence, ensured that the like terms are next to each other along with their signs. So it was plus, plus minus became minus, so it came here minus 2xy. This 4xy, no sign means it is plus sign, so it is plus 4xy. So we are ensuring that the sign comes along with the term. Now, 2x square, there is nothing to add, so remains as it is. Plus 4xy minus 2xy gives us plus 2xy. Plus 2x plus 3x gives us plus 5x. And plus 3 as it is. So this is your answer. Both ways you get the same answer. I always say that follow the method which you are comfortable with. If you are comfortable with following it vertically, please follow this method. If you are comfortable with doing this, please follow this method. We are going to take a few more examples so that we understand this better. So, we want to subtract this polynomial from this. So, let's first do it vertically. So, let's first write this. And I will write this below this, but it is a minus. Minus. Now let's see 3x square. 
or this 3x square comes here 3x square minus 2y square so here it's minus 2y square minus 2xy minus 2xy plus 6x so there is nothing here so we'll leave that and we'll write here plus 6x minus 3 and we'll write here minus 3 now we are doing subtraction so remember that we are doing subtraction and so subtraction this sign is going to get applied to each of them so subtraction is addition of the additive inverse so additive inverse of this is going to be minus this is going to be plus plus minus plus and now we'll follow these signs and we'll do addition not these because it is subtraction what we did is we found the additive inverse of each term and additive inverse of each term the sign changes so now we are going to add these terms with the changed sign so here plus 3 so plus 3 remains plus 3 minus 2x minus 6x is going to be minus 8x minus 6y as it is stays as it is there is nothing to add or subtract here plus 6y plus 2xy plus 8xy here plus 2y square plus 2y square so plus 4y square here 6 plus 6x square minus 3x square plus minus subtraction so it will give plus 3x square sign of the greater okay so 3 6 minus 3 is 3 and sign of the greater which is plus and this will remain as it is 4x square y square so our answer is 4x square y square plus 3x square plus 4y square plus 8xy minus 6y minus 8x plus 3 this was the method where we write the numbers vertically now let's do this with the method where we write the numbers horizontally so now here we'll write the first term as it is 4x square y square let's look at here is there any like term for x square y square no so we'll write the next term 6x square for x square is there a like term yes we have 3x square but there is minus sign outside so this has to be applied to this plus and minus will become minus so it will be minus 3x square now we'll go again to this one 2y square is there any y square here yes minus 2y square but this minus and this minus they convert into plus so it will become plus 2y square same signs always plus now from here plus 6xy plus 6xy is there any like term for xy here yes it is minus 2xy but this minus and this minus same signs will convert into plus it will become plus 2xy then we have minus 6y anything with y here nothing so we'll go to the next term minus 2x minus 2x here it is 6x plus and this minus plus minus different signs gives us negative minus 6x and finally there is nothing here but there is one term remaining here which is minus 3 minus and minus same sign will convert into plus 3 and now we'll solve them 4x square y square remains as it is no operation on that now 6x square minus 3x square plus 6 minus 3 so it is going to be plus 3x square plus 2y square plus 2y square is plus 4y square plus 6xy plus 2xy is plus 8xy minus 6y nothing to add or subtract so minus 6y minus 2x minus 6x same signs means addition 6 plus 2 8 and sign of the greater which is 6 minus so minus 8x 
and plus 3. So our answer is same. The method is different. Follow the method you are comfortable in. I am sure you have liked the video. Hit the like button and leave your views in the comment section below. Do watch our other videos on this topic. Subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications whenever we upload new videos. You may also download the YouTube app at the link provided in the video description. Till we meet again, goodbye.